hi guys well it's been a little while since I've done a video um, I was looking for my lip balm but whatever it doesn't matter um, it's been a little while since I've done a video um, during the day here but I've got something on my mind and I want to talk to y'all about it because I received a couple of messages about this and initially I was like mm, I don't really know if I'm going to talk about that. I don't know if I should uh, cover it or just let it go. But in all fairness, I've got things on my mind and I'm going to talk to y'all about it. With the Gypsy Rose situation, I'm sure a lot of y'all are aware of Kate. Kate is a uh, survivor of Munchausen by proxy um, from her mother. She did not unalive her mother. Kate's mother put her through horrific scenarios as a child she um just went through awful things she is um she had an amputation done that was not required um because of her mother and initially kate came on the radar because not only is she a much in survivor but gypsy rose was also bullying kate and taking parts of her story where the allegations and uh, things being discussed and everyone was on Kate's side. I said um, a while ago, I was like, you know, I want to do a video on Kate and spread her story because it's really unfair the way that Gypsy Rose is treating Kate. I never did that video. Now I'm just kind of thinking maybe that's, you know, just the way that things were meant to play out. I was distracted with other stuff. We were moving. I was covering other topics and just never ended up doing the video and I noticed that she and Gypsy were tit for tat back and forth a lot and I was like you know what let me just you know focus on other stuff right now and come back around to this. Well Kate put out a video saying that now she and Gypsy are friends and the people that uncovered this um, are too bored. They have too much time on their hands and you know i guess she's kind of looking at these people as haters detractors whatever you want to call them oh so, all right this is the only response y'all are going to get from me for a while so here it goes yes me and gypsy rose are friends uh glad you guys found that out by stalking gypsy's following list um y'all got way too much time on your hands but uh also, all the people that show that we're friends, my following list has been hidden for years. So a little disclaimer, if you can see that I'm friends with Gypsy Rose, that means you are following Gypsy Rose. So all this negativity, oh, she follows her. Well, you do too. So why does, like, anyways, um, I have made my mistakes and I am not going to deny that. I have shared things from my heart out of anger and hurt and things that were true to me at the time. And, um, but you know, there's something I have always said, perceptions can change. And anybody that has been following me for years know me very, very well. And sadly, the people who've only been following me for the last few months, for the wrong reasons, don't know me that well. So they're all jumping to conclusions and assumptions because they don't know me. Um, I'm not ready to talk yet, so, Hang tight guys, because I got a busy week and it's probably not gonna happen this week. But I will confirm because you guys are just want this confirmed so bad. Yes, we're friends, okay? So yeah, all right. Um, go ahead and run away with those assumptions and conclusions. Like seriously, you guys should calm down because many of you are very, very wrong in a lot of ways. And the hate that is just, field on TikTok, the gas that's put on this fire of hate and how people just want people to hate people so much and they just want drama. Like, it's really disappointing because I'm a positive, upbeat person and I have honestly let the drama consume me and change who I am as a person lately. And it has been cutting deep to where I feel I have been far too emotional. And you know what? I've come to a point I want positivity, I want to share my story, and I just want to spread love, being a survivor, awareness, and I really want the hate and drama to stop, and if I'm so wrong for that, 
I'm not the problem. I think that Kate is missing the point. Kate had a lot of people on her side wanting to advocate for her because she was being bullied by Gypsy Rose, who has such a huge platform and so many deranged fans that are supporting her. And they were sending a lot of hate to Kate. Um, you know, they would bully her. They would make fun of her. They would um, call her names. They would make fun of the fact that she had to have an, an amputation done. It was a lot of hostility and hate being sent over to Kate. Kate uh, deactivated her socials multiple times. Now to hear that Kate is friends with Gypsy and, you know, that's just what she wants to do. Like, yes, that's her decision, but you can't get mad at people that are left feeling, um, a little blindsided, a little confused, a little like, well, here's another person that Gypsy Rose manipulated into not talking about her and all of the awful things that she does. That's confusing. It's confusing for people that were really in Kate's corner and willing to really use their platforms to defend her. Nina, the beauty influencer, made a TikTok and said that um, you know, her allegation is that Kate was in her DMs begging Nina to defend her, make content, um, and that's what Nina chose to do. Um, you know, I don't, and I'm sure a lot of y'all, not a lot, but some of y'all are probably wondering, did Kate ever DM me? No, I would have told y'all immediately if I had, you know, any messages from her. Um, and, and I don't, um, even if she would have DM me, like, I'm not going to make content because you're asking me to make content defending you. Uh, that's just my decision. We all, you know, go through content creation at our own pace and make our own decisions. Now, some of y'all listening to this might be wondering, well, what's the big deal if Kate wants to be friends with Gypsy and they can, you know, whatever. The reason that it's confusing for followers is because we're talking about just very recently, Kate was so horrendously bullied by Gypsy and her fans. And I don't know about y'all, but if I'm giving my life story that is very specific to me and somebody else starts taking pieces of my story and using it for their story where they're monetizing and getting rich and famous off of it, um, that's not somebody that I would be friends with a few weeks later. I don't know. Maybe my, uh, maybe I just stand firm in my boundaries and the things that I accept in my life. But the fact of the matter is you can't get mad at people and say, oh, you have too much time on your hands. Because if you're telling people that they're bored and they're haters and, you know, to butt out and mind their business, then you're sounding a lot like your newfound friend Gypsy Rose is. So I'm confused and a little caught off guard by this entire situation. Um, I'm going to continue, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to continue to cover Gypsy Rose because she is forever toxic and she is very much a public figure. And um, as I've said, y'all show interest in something. I'm going to cover it. We're going to have conversations about what's going on publicly. Um, so you don't have to worry about me flip flopping or anything like that. Um, you know, if I say that I don't respect someone, um, don't ever expect me to come on here and be like, oh yeah, we're friends. And even though a couple of weeks ago I said, you know, this person was bullying me and hating me and, uh, you know, we were like oil and vinegar. Uh, now we're friends. Like, no, not me. Um, but either way, tell me how y'all feel about this, um, situation. Is it harmless? Are you confused? Do you not care? Everything's allowed, so drop it down below. But for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.